Dear students and friends, in this video I am going to solve a limit splits and tolerances problem. The problem is given like this. Indicate the tolerances and allowances for the whole shaft system designated by 150S7G5. Given 150 falls in the range of 120 to 180. Fundamental deviation for small g is minus 2.5 d to the power of 0.34. So something in this way the problem will be given. Now you have to identify the tolerances and allowances for this particular 150H7G5. Now the first step is you have to find out the limiting values for the given 150. D1, D2 are limiting values. Here D1 is given as 120, D2 is 180. From D1 and D2 you have to calculate the geometric mean that is capital D. If the limiting values are not given in the problem, in that case you have to collect those values from the data book. In the data book, a table like this is available. So from this table you have to identify the limiting values. Here for capital H, this is capital H, the starting value is 120, ending value is 180. So that means over 120 and up to 180, this is the limit. That means 150 falls under above 120 that means one above 120 means 121 and up to 180 means up to 180 you have to take okay from 181 onwards that comes under the next limit so in this way from this table you have to get the limiting values after calculating the geometric mean we have to calculate the standard tolerance unit that is i for calculating i the equation is given here using this equation calculate the i value so here I value we will get in microns. In this problem you are getting that as 2.52 microns. This I value is affecting the tolerance zone. So that's why here the tolerances for hole and shaft are given as H7 and G5. So with respect to that H7 you have to calculate IT7. And with respect to that G5 you have to calculate IT5. IT7 and IT5 equations. Again you can collect from the data book. This is the table. The equations for it5 and it7 it5 equal to 7 i it7 equal to 69 now calculate it7 value it5 value these two values you will get in microns as shown here now you consider the whole fundamental deviation for a whole ea equal to 0 because whole is indicated with h7 if you observe the graphical representation of tolerances it will be somewhere here for h lower deviation ea will be 0 here you will get eas Fundamental deviation means among EA and ES, which one is nearer to the zero line that is called as fundamental deviation. Here EA is on the zero line that's why the fundamental deviation will become EA. Then to calculate ES, you can use this equation ES equal to EI plus IT7, ES equal to EI0 plus IT7 is 40.34, then you will get the ES value. Now you can represent this ES and EI values here in millimeters. To convert the microns into millimeters, you have to divide that value with 1000. Then you will get in millimeters. Then you will get the maximum hole and minimum hole like this. The difference between maximum hole and minimum hole is the tolerance. For shaft, tolerance is indicated with G5. The location of G5 graphically, if you observe, that will be somewhere here. This is the location of G5. So this is ES, this is EI. So here fundamental deviation you will get with respect to ES. Both are in the negative zone. So that's why ES equal to minus 2.5 into d to the power of something. This will become ES that is the fundamental deviation here. Then now you substitute D value and find out the ES value. ES value now we are getting as minus 13.63 microns you are getting. ES value is now known to you. To calculate the EA value, again you can use the same relation. That is ES equal to EI plus IT5. IT5 value is known to you. Now if you rearrange this equation, EA equal to ES minus IT5, you will get like this. Now you can get EI value as ES, that is minus 13.63 minus of IT5. IT5 value we have calculated here, this is IT5. Now the, you can take this value here, now you can get EI value. EI value you are getting like this. Now you convert this ES and EI values into millimeters and substitute here like this. Now you will get maximum shaft and minimum shaft. This is the tolerance for shaft. Now you have to find the allowances. Allowance at maximum material condition. Maximum material condition means material is there. 
when the maximum material is there you will get the minimum hole when the maximum material is there you will get maximum shaft so minimum hole means maximum shaft if you take this is the minimum hole and this is the maximum shaft if you take these two you will get the difference as positive here you are getting the difference as positive when this difference is positive you will get clearance fit when the difference is negative you will get interference fit okay next go to least material condition when you are making the hole material is least means less material less material is there means you will get the maximum hole that means here you have to take maximum hole this is the maximum hole then least material is there means minimum shaft you will get minus minimum shaft if you take maximum hole this one and the minimum shaft this one take the difference if the, this difference is also positive means you will get the clearance fit if both are positive in the mmc condition and lmc condition in both the conditions you are getting positive means the total fit is clearance fit if both are negative means total can total fit is interference fit one is positive one is negative means that is the transition fit okay now you can represent now you can represent them graphically like this take a zero line and here you take for hole this is the hole system this is maximum diameter this is minimum diameter so this is upper deviation this is lower deviation lower deviation is zero upper deviation is this you can indicate like this for the same zero line you can take the shaft somewhere here this is the upper deviation this is the lower deviation and this is the tolerance in this way you can graphically represent the clearance fit thanks for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel